Alright folks, doing an uh, incline and I don't know if any of the angles are very, the views are very good, but we're going for it. I had some of the worst elbow pain yesterday. Um, shoulder, elbow, everything is falling apart. Yesterday I did not do any pause benching. <laughs> um, you know, it's unfortunate, but trying to take it a little easier on my body yesterday. We do so much as far as uh, sets go. So I made a, I actually made two videos, um, YouTube shorts, you know, as long as you do two separate videos, it doesn't really matter if you have the same video twice and whether they're on a different channel or whatever, you know, but uh, I did this video that hasn't been released yet where I, on here, where I weighed 10 10 cap, 10 pound plates, and surprisingly, um, by the time we got to the end, it was only like a pound over, where we've had a single 45 that was over a pound heavier, I've had uh, 5 pound plates that were 4 pound, not made by cap, but, um, you know, which seems amazing. Now there's a balance from around here somewhere that was, I figured it'd be heavier because it had a lot of extra, it looked like it had extra material on it, but yet that wasn't the case. <laughs> it actually was a uh, lighter. Um, just like my other balance from 45s, they're more like, More like uh, 20 kilo plates because they're almost exactly 44 pounds. I don't know. Not a lot of quality control with those guys. You know, everything I bought is not a very good product. Why do I keep buying it though? I think, you know, people. There are some things you can buy that will get you more views. And if you put it on a monetized channel, obviously more views is more money. But uh, some of the cheap shit I bought, it's amazing how it's made, it paid for itself, right? But it's junk that I'm not using anymore. I got a three piece weeder bar. I think I made $21 off of it for uh, monetization. It cost me $17. Um, it's garbage. So just a reminder, today on the incline we're less, we're, we're not using our, obviously our commercial Nautilus, uh, I wanted to get a little less uh, deltoid in today and more chest. Now, I'm assuming this is about 5 to 10 degrees less than the commercial. But it's also a lot easier for me to rack the weight um, since it's directly over me, you know, vertical, whatever. Where the, the Nautilus is back behind me, which causes even more strain. Um, 
but I'm happy I bought it, even if it sits around and collects dust, we'll occasionally use it. This is one of the pieces of equipment I wanted to buy, and so we purchased it. Uh, See how good the views are today. This camera's probably being blinded by the, the light in the background. Um, yeah, I think if it's going to have the chair behind it, it might lighten you up better. Uh, do we need our Mood lighting, folks. Might as well, huh? We're in between sets. Hopefully, it makes my shit stand out a little bit. <laughs> um. Yeah. So, this is the first time I haven't used the commercial incline, but I think we've gotten three or four weeks in a row on it. Um. You know, whatever. It is what it is. There are some other, there are other ones out there. I, I wish I, um, well, for 50 bucks, it was just too cheap to turn down, right? But, uh, you would, ideally, we would have got to try out a few different ones. Yeah, I talked about doing the sling today. I don't know if we're going to get to raw 225 at this rate. Um, the shoulder doesn't really get looser. Might be a short, short incline day. It is amazing since I started this channel how much things have changed in here. Uh, you know, got this belt squat thing and all the apparatuses. It's added all kinds of workouts. Not that people won't exactly watch those workouts, but hey, they're here. Um, part of me doing this was to just track how I was doing. And also, you know, historical aspect, assuming YouTube lasts for a long time and I don't lose this channel, we, uh, we have the ability to, you know, look back 10 years from now and go, wow, I used to be pretty strong. Or, you know, show the grand, grandkids how strong granddad was at one time. You know, they're not going to get that. Give a hoot when they're, when they're actually lifting weights. If any of them do, they might. But. Uh, so, but yeah, we added the Titan uh, fitness bench. We added uh, lighting, which I might have had before, but I never used it on the workout videos. Um, we use this crappy, we use the crappy leather belt. 
happy Chinese leather belt. Um, all kinds of different camper mounts. We started the triple view. You know, I don't know how many people are doing that on YouTube, but I gotta say, I am at least uh, innovative in leading the leading a pack, right? Um, I also, you know, bought the incline bench. Um, is that it, folks? Plenty of stuff. Plenty of stuff. the shirt now. So, we're definitely not ready for another 225. Um, yeah, I didn't buy, I didn't buy any additional webcams, but I did, um, in here. I don't even know why I bought all these webcams originally. I thought I was going to do some vlogs and want to, you know, so the view doesn't get stale. Switch views, but that didn't really work out so good. Oh, we bought a bunch of, you know, slingshot things. Um, some better than others. I think the, the bench daddy has been the ultimate. I think we've worn out the mad dog. Um, I need to go on eBay and sell the money shot. I'm not really a fan of that one. Though, for incline, you know, it's probably a good one to use. So actually, I think I was going to try and sell it only used a couple times, but the reality is I think we'll use it today. Bought the Markville uh, lower support, which has been astonishing. Probably the best thing I have, actually. Cerberus elbow sleeves, we'll use those. Here, when we get a little heavier, maybe when we get to 225. Bought a lot of Olympic plates. I think we bought a, we bought a super curl bar. I still haven't bought a six foot bar, but I don't think there's any reason to do that. I bought the Cap Eco bar, which rarely ever gets used. Probably not good. A bar, a good bar for really heavy weights because it's kind of fat. All right, here we go. I never get notice if my my bars are in a good spot or not. So if anybody's still watching this video at this point, let's hear some comments. Uh, you know, one thing, I probably need to make sure I stay positive the whole time. Not talk about how the political economic outlook is just a disaster. I mean, we'll be probably for at least nine more months. If not further out, all the other crap going on with this country. Ah, wars in the Middle East. Yep. 
Nothing but positive stuff on this channel, folks. Um, yeah, so, now what I do a lot on this channel, I think, is dream. You know, I keep hoping, ah, I'm going to be bringing the money in and invested in this channel. And turning it out to be something good. I don't know how long that'll take or if things will pick up. Right now I'm averaging between, well, it's really not an average, one to three subscribers a day. That's not really going to cut it for taking over the world. Realistically, being an older, uh, you know, middle-aged guy, in some aspects great shape, other aspects terrible looking shape, uh, you know, how successful is a weightlifting channel going to be? I know one way we could really get uh, ratings, but that would be unethical to do, so... Not gonna do it. I've talked about collabs. Um, you know, the reality is, I'm at least on this channel, I have a very small amount of followers, uh, and so collabing with me doesn't really gain anybody much. I need to collab with somebody that's huge or collab with, uh, you know, somebody that uh, we have some fun workouts. So uh, that's, a, that's definitely a possibility sometime towards the end of the year, I think. And, or maybe sooner if I get lucky, but I did find, like I've said in a couple of videos, I found a couple that if I could <laughs> honestly let them see the light, um, then potentially they might, they would make really good folks to collab with. I know. Putting the female on one one short video on my channel will probably net me easily over 10,000 views. Might be my first 100,000 view video. Um, but I don't think it's going to happen, probably. So um, I did. I did tell them I would support them if they decided to make a channel. So, well, lots of people though, if, you know, if I was a single guy, I think I'd just go, hey, um, do you do fitness channel, right? Have you, do you do social media, you know, workouts? I think if you did some, you could probably make some good side money, get some endorsements, whatever. You know, one out of every so many women at the gym would fall into that. And then, but then it's like, okay, you gotta go talk to them about it. Then you've gotta have a plan. Then, you know, if you're able to take advantage of that and make them stronger, even better. But um, my current situation, that's not something I could just go do, right? I can't just go, oops. I can wait a little Um, so, uh, would I, you know, I'd be able to do that with a married couple. Um, but, you know, me going up to a single woman, wouldn't work out so great. Now, I can take the wife with me, have her help me recruit. Uh, that might work, but 
that's not going to happen either. So she's not that supportive of YouTube. It's like the extra money, but her to actually participate. So that's not the story. Oh, these weight belts suck. This this Chinese piece of shit. I swear to God. Fifteen dollar piece of shit. Okay. All right. Uh, two fifteen on here. So, I think I got more rest than I normally do. Um, let's put a, let's put a 45 on there. And, So we'll switch to server sleeves after this. And we'll put fibers on there. So I'll probably go 235, 245. Who knows after that? So, we need to hurry this up. Unfortunately, I don't like to be rushed when I'm working out. Um, so, there might not be any slingshot work today, unfortunately. Uh, unless we just say, hey, let's do 255 after this, which I might. That would be a little more than it's going to give me for assistance. Huh. Yeah, I kind of would like to drill a hole in this thing between 
this spot and the next spot, you know, maybe a couple degrees less angle on this would be great, but I do realize I've got the bench sitting on the frame, um, which is, you know, causing me probably to have a little bit more of an angle. I think I did this one day where I pulled it all the way out, um, but maybe that was just uh, military. So, we're getting there, slowly but surely. So I, uh, you know, I always talk about watch hours and uh, subscribers. We are, it doesn't seem like we're making a dent in our watch hours. Like we're stuck at 3,300 pretty much. I mean, nobody's watching the longer videos all of a sudden, like they've just died. Um, now the, YouTube uh, YouTube shorts kind of feel like they've died off a little too, but I can't say I've been putting out as much. When you ain't putting out, you ain't getting any, right? <laughs> That's a joke. That's a bit funny. That's a joke. All right, so we got 235. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready. I think I recovered. And go in Cerberus. Might get, you know, one extra rep out of these. Maybe five pounds. Who knows? <coughs> Depends on how you look at it. Alright, incline um, in the power cage. Yep. This is 235. So if I got, I got 10 on that, you know, realistically, going another, um, going another 5 pounds, or 245, I might have got, been able to get 8. I think there's there's about a 10 pound difference between this and the commercial incline with how much I can lift. Uh, that said, getting the weight off way easier. I was already in parts some strain. Uh, yep. I kept I keep thinking all the crap I want to buy when I get back from my long trip, right? Uh, I'm gonna have extra bunch of extra money just for me. Hopefully, uh, could could be a couple grand, could be as much.
much as uh, four grand. I got to figure out what what do I want to buy, you know? What do I want to buy, folks? That's all. When I say I'll have extra money, it's all from my Probably the YouTube channels is where the extra money comes from. But uh, I, you know, should put it in my tech channels because those are the ones that make the money. But if I get this up, then we can have a constant stream of cash coming in from this. That's a win-win. And one of my other channels that's monetized, but currently taking a break from being monetized. We'll have that one back. And one of the channels I've got, I've got 1,100 some subscribers, but I just can't get watch hours. I need that couple of videos that just blow up and get me, get me 4,000 uh, watch hours. And then we'll be set. So maybe I'll try and figure out some things there. Um, if I can get that, then, you know, that'd be four channels monetized. And honestly, it could be, a, you know, the one channel, it could be overnight, you know. And suddenly, bam, you are monetized. This channel, I don't know how the hell we'll get... You know, the growth is just what it is, like people discovering you. I could possibly promote this channel on on YouTube and if you know if that pays off uh, in getting maybe a thousand subscribers and four thousand hours, then you know, the sooner the better probably, but I'd say right now we're looking at I was thinking two months, I think we're three or four months just because the subscriber levels have died off. So, but, needless to say, when I come back from a trip, um, I want to buy a bunch of shit, and I've got to decide, do I buy commercial grade, do I buy Amazon? Um, case in point, right? Neck, I want to get a four-way neck machine. This is more for me than it is really going to benefit the channel, but uh, my neck gets huge, and it's like, okay, four-way neck machine works. But uh, if I spend, I can spend five fifty, I think, and get one on on uh, Amazon, right? Or I can spend twelve ninety-nine, probably plus freight. Or if I get, can find one close enough, drive over and pick it up and save, you know, three hundred dollars freight. Um, and I drive into the next state over if I had to, but so you know there you go. There's a there's that decision. That's that's a lot of money, though, right? Um, the same with the flat bench. I could pick one up two ninety nine. It's probably a piece of shit. Uh, or the five hundred dollar what is it, body so body solid pro or body whatever that's on Amazon. Both those are on Amazon, right? Or we could probably get a hammer strength for $299,350 plus freight. Or if we get lucky, we can find one local. I'd go pick it up. Do I really need those? You know, uh, questionable. I do like to occasionally have just a flat bench press that's just ready to go and just use that, right? But, the overhead press, you know, I've seen some thousand dollars. Do I want to spend the money on that? There's a really awesome Cybex one that I saw. But I also don't want to do pretty much straight 90 degrees, which most of those are set up that way. So maybe uh, we wouldn't do that. Then there's a, uh, what else is there, folks? Um, trying to think. Oh, we're not going to be able to use the servers sleeves with this on. Mm -hmm. Alright, well. Uh, the back 
package back machines I wanted to buy. I do think I'm going to spend about 600 and get a, a corner cable unit. I think the reviews are decent enough on those that that might be a good buy. Right? Um, that would give me a lot more exercises to demonstrate and stuff, you know. Hey, you can do this at the gym. I could hit Planet Fitness up early hours and film there. That is, you know, another thing that might might actually be more sensible. I look pregnant when I'm wearing this belt and that thing like that. Alright, so 255. Alright folks, 250 incline, um, I'm not sure the exact angle of the incline, but it's different from my commercial incline, I'll say that. So I can't say that the slingshot um, full bore did a whole lot. Wow. That's my thoughts, right? I mean, we didn't get that much of a boost like we do with a bench daddy. So This workout's over. Yeah. My ass has to get to work. <laughs> 